Boys and girls, it's time to slap you with some science. If you're not familiar with the segment a couple of years ago, I want to do more science stories. My boss says it's boring. I said, what if I add some violence? And he was like, yeah. I can hear it. I can picture it now. now you're All talking. right. <laughs> that guy's no longer here. I don't know that's if that's a coincidence or what. All right. The Danish Museum of Science and Technology has acquired the space capsule. This specific time capsule was on a space flight to the International Space Station back in 2015. On September 2nd of 2015, Andreas Mujan uh, made history when it became that the guy. first Dane to fly in space as part of the IRIS program. Danes in space! Woo! He was up there for a 10-day space odyssey. The capsule will officially be put on display, and a special ceremony is going to take place. I hope there's cake. Oh, You've yeah. been slapped with science. Uh, ooh, Bam. Ow, ow, uh, all right, it's quite possibly the coolest turtle with a rocking hairdo. Let's see. But unfortunately, it's on the endangered list. But look, get a look at it while you can, people. This it's is so the Mary is River awesome. turtle. The last time somebody was able to photograph this rare animal was back in Australia in 2008. Science. The turtle has a very specific vertical strand of algae sprouting from its head. He also has pointy flesh like growth from its chin. Oh. Giving it that punk rock look. Jeez. Turtle even has wow. a stranger characteristic. It's known for its ability to breathe throughout its genitals wow. and stay wow. underwater for three days. Oh, that's my. that's impressive, <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> I thought the hairdo was impressive, but the genital thing, very impressive. Gosh. It is ranked 29th in evolutionary distinct and globally wow. endangered list of endangered reptile species. So get a look at them because they ain't gonna be around much longer. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, my good friends at NASA just released this super cool animation that shows what it would be like to dive into Jupiter's hellish North Pole. The video gives viewers an up-close look at the lava-like cyclones that whip across the planet's polar regions. I had the same problem. Uh, with speeds as high as 220 miles per hour. This entire flyby was put together by images that were taken by NASA's Juno probe, which is currently orbiting the planet. So far, the cameras in the probe have captured the planet's stormy, pulled infrared in light. Yes, infrared light. Ooh, yeah. yeah, slap it. Slap it. Kitty slap it. All right, there you go. Back to you. All right. All right, well, who doesn't love animals?